I really think I should throw this banana away. It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. Last time, guys. Last time. Oh, we'll be there today. Excuse my hideous appearance. I mean, and please don't feel the need to tell me, oh, Leah, you don't look hideous. Please, just don't. I know I do, because my hair is all frazzled because of the dry air that it's not used to. And I have this giant pimple on my chin, and I look like a tired, homeless hobo with acne problems <laughs> and dry hair. And it's okay. It's okay, because when you're on the road for like five days, yeah, I'll get my vanity in order. Hey, don't start that. We got a long drive today, okay? You know, because technically I am homeless right now, so really I'm just representing my label right now. Mike and I were just talking about, there are so many farms that we're going past. I mean, that's awesome. It's like, I thought Ohio was like farm country. Not compared to this, what we've seen in Iowa and Minnesota. My God, it's like nothing but farm. Especially, like off the highway at least. That's awesome. We stopped at a rest area for coffee and toilet. They only had one. Guess which one? So I completely forgot we got these chocolate covered espresso beans at the coffee shop the other day. So Mike had them in his car. This is my second one. So yeah, I had a couple of those. So hopefully that'll perk me up for the rest of the drive because I didn't sleep the greatest last night. They didn't wake us up as much because I drugged both them and Mike. I drugged them with catnip and I drugged Mike with z -Quil. He was aware of this, by the way, he requested it because he needed to sleep through the night because he gets woken up worse than I do with the cats. And so I gave them catnip to sort of calm them down. It kind of worked, but I was drugless, of course, but I still didn't quite get adequate sleep. Plus we're sort of running on negative sleep throughout this entire trip and we're just sort of exhausted <laughs> at this point. But we don't have much further to go, which is wonderful. And I am really looking forward to not traveling again for a while. <laughs> as much fun as this has been. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> it's like mean mugging me. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Uh -huh. I hate keeping you caged up like this, but it's unfortunately the way things have to go. Henry, how you doing, bud? Oh, he's sitting up. Hi, buddy. everything situated he has to declare his firearms at the when we get to the base so he's rearranging them in his trunk right now and we have to get the records for the cats the vaccination records and stuff because we also have to present those when we get on base oh my god I can't believe we're here it's so surreal it's like this is what the whole trip this you know this was the destination and now we're here and the whole trip is behind us and it feels weird <laughs> like while we were making the trip it seemed like time consuming but it's like now that we're here time is funny that way you know because like you're there before you know it you know what I mean so like now looking back at the trip it's like wow we're already here like already it's been like five days but you know what I mean so it's kind of weird <laughs> he's got the cat records <laughs> awesome awesome we ready to roll on the base also, thanks to that fellow at um, Vintage Stock, I discovered this really awesome genre of music called Electro Swing. I think um, a couple of viewers during my music review or music reaction video, guys, stop. 
suggested a couple electro sing swing songs, but I thought it was like an individual thing. I didn't realize it was a whole genre. And that's awesome. Cats, man. So follow me, Bunky. All right, guys, final stretch. There's not much here, but we're in the northern part. We're headed to the base, and uh, which is outside of the city, so there's not going to be anything out here, and well, there sure isn't. Look at that sky to the right and behind us. It is pretty. Oh, this is cool. We're waiting on the people to come out and escort Mike to to the facility where he has to store his firearms. And I don't know what's taking so long, but we've been sitting here for a good solid however many minutes. The cats are getting really <laughs> impatient and I don't blame them because I'm getting impatient and they've been in a cage all day so that sucks. But we're almost there, at least we don't have to drive anymore. Never mind, turns out the facility is this building and we just didn't know, so we've been sitting here for basically no reason. But he's gonna get the stuff and take it in right now, and I'm gonna put this window up because it's cold. And then this one too. Yeah. Okay, we're finally headed to wherever the hell we're headed to. This is a small base, oh my god. <laughs> There's a Burger King, just like you said there'd be. <laughs> That's funny, oh my god. This is like a joke. Um, he said that all the bases he's ever been to, there's always a Burger King. It's so funny, I was like, oh, bet this base will be no different. There's a Burger King. <laughs> it's five o'clock. For those of you who don't know, at 5 p.m. the national anthem plays and no matter what you're doing, basically you stop and face the flag. If you're driving, you stop the car. I'm in the car, technically I wasn't required to do anything, I'm just sitting here, but I wanted to at least, you know, acknowledge things, because... stuff. That's kind of a neat factoid about living on... living on base. Guys! Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Here we go, our temporary lodgings. Let's let the cats out. Here is the living area, kitchen. Ooh, the bed chamber. <laughs> oh, wow. Houdini found the sink. They're investigating now. Much better than a hotel room, huh? And we're going shopping at the commissary. For those of you who don't know military lingo, that means go rope store store on base grocery store. This is cool, shopping in the commissary. Oh, here's where the rice would be. Waffelettin! We are in, apparently, this is the German section here, because we've got Sauerbraten, Hackbraten, Jäger, Jäger Sahne Schnitzel, Jäger Spätzle. I don't know why I'm saying it so weird. Tortillas! Thank you. Oh, these ones are regular. I like the big ones. Yeah, what the hell is salad cream? That's <laughs> scary. It's original salad cream. Oh, it's gefilte fish. Gefil Ew. Oh. What? Wait a minute. Does anyone else think it's weird that the German section is literally right next to the Jewish section? Or am I a jerk for thinking that, that that's weird? We're making this little tiny shopping cart work for its wage. Whatever the heck that means. <laughs> Get it, 
all home again. We're fur number one, fur number two. God only knows where Henry is. Henry. <laughs> yeah, he's probably under the bed. Probably. These two are just so adaptable. Henry's just like, yeah! <laughs> And, uh, there are Strawberry pop tart stinks. Uh. <laughs> we are the millions. <laughs> I definitely thought that was going to be a we have the meat. <laughs> Watson is settled in for the night. Aww. You like the little view you have of the tree and the snow and everything? You're so cute, Houdini. You remember snow? It's been a while. We have our frozen spinach feta pizza and oh, last man standing! Oh my god! And I have a Henry on my lap. And now it is time for bed, and I'm so happy, as well as the furs are so happy, that we do not, we do not have to drive tomorrow or like ever again. <sighs> okay, bye. <laughs>